I was born and raised in Windsor, um, and I went to Kennedy Collegiate High School. That's where my art teacher really started to influence me in, um, in creative arts. In high school, I really didn't know that art was going to be an option for me. I know I was still doing typewriter, a class on typewriters, and I was learning Word on you know DOS computers. Didn't think that art and technology really went with one another. So with his help, uh, he put me into a, um, a connection uh, with Hogan's Printing, and it was where I did my co-op for being a logo designer for them in high school. That's also where I met uh, Cindy Hogan, who was one of my mentors. She really was a pivotal part in, in who I am today as far as teaching me about being a confident, strong woman. And those are the skills I learned from Cindy, who um, you know, I can, I, I'm still very involved with a lot of things with her nowadays as well. When I started looking at the options that the uh, college provided, I really didn't know that um, what to expect with the graphic design program. Um, but I really did, I thought that it would be something that I would like to do. I didn't really think that it was going to be a, a career. And that's kind of why I picked um, St. Clair College. It was close to town, it had that community feel to it, and it had the fundamentals of what I thought could turn into something bigger. Some key professors really do um, have made an impact and continue to make an impact in my life today. Glenn Angus is one of them who's no longer with us. He was an inspiration to many, not just me, but many, many students. You know, Nick Kuypers, who I often see, Dan Watts, Sylvia Farrow, who I must say was my favorite class just because Photoshop is what she taught and Photoshop is my go-to program. But all of them had, you know, tremendous impact on, on me and, and where I am today. I'm a part of everything from A to Z in the agency, so I was able to learn from the ground up. You know, I came in as an art director 11 years ago and only did design work. You know, worked on catalogs, did some logo designs, and then from there I was promoted to creative director. And with that responsibility, I was leading more of a team. I was doing a lot of more presentations, but I was able to be given the opportunity to do that. I would go into meetings with Kay Douglas, and, and she's a you know, visionary, a big picture thinker, and she would talk to clients about all the things that they should be doing for marketing. And you know, you, we would see a glaze over the, their eyes because it was just too much to grasp. So I approached her and I said, what if we did what if we created a visual marketing plan and showed them what their marketing plan looked like instead of the traditional, you know, 100 page binder that sits on a shelf. So we really turned that into life and essentially we created a product that made us unique in, in the market, which is called the Big Picture Landscape. And with the help of our online division, we created this Big Picture Landscape into a software and it continues to evolve with you know a return on investment plugin and real time reporting, so really we're really showing results for our clients, and um, I had a very big part in that that whole process. And in uh, 2014, I was promoted to the vice president of the company. Um, but throughout all those years, I still kept doing the creative. I still kept on doing that hands-on creative because that's where that's what I'm most passionate about. So the It's In Your Genes campaign was developed to raise awareness for prostate cancer. And the name actually had two meanings. The It's In Your Genes was a literal for, you know, the issue of prostate cancer, but also that your wallet is in your genes. It was a fund development campaign. So there was three pillars that the funds went to. One was to create the Men's Health Center at Windsor Regional Hospital. Two was for research and laboratory equipment. And the third was to raise funds for the Da Vinci robot machine, which would help men in our community receive prostate cancer and surgery here locally versus traveling outside of Windsor. I have a career, I'm a mom, I'm very, very busy, but I wanna give back. So what 100 Women Who Care Windsor really allows us to do is get 100 plus women in one room for one hour and everyone brings $100 and at the end of that one hour meeting, we donate $10,000 to a charity. We helped Jeff Casey start 100 Men Who Give a Damn in the community. And then every year at the end of the year, both 100 women and 100 men who give a damn, we get together for a combined meeting where we donate over $30,000 to one charity at the end of the year. 
being an alumni of St. Clair College makes me feel so proud. Um, I am a part of the program advisory committee, committee for the graphic design program. So I see how the program has evolved and I see that the industry leaders are there to really guide and enhance that program. So the students that are going there every year, year after year, are getting the most relevant and industry trends. So Douglas Marketing Group is really proud of the students coming out of St. Clair College and the graphic design program. And in fact, we take on an intern almost every year and we support the program. I'm invited to go and review the portfolio review for the students and really get them prepared for what's to come in the outside world. And I continue to help and guide them in what we're looking for in, in the interview process. And in fact, most of our staff are graduates from St. Clair College. So St. Clair College um, and, and the programs and, and specifically the graphic design program really teaches relevant and fundamental skills for your path outside of the college. Really, what, they've, what they do is they really teach you hands-on experience. All the teachers that you know, were with us throughout the f first three years were at companies. They worked, they were working in the industry and they were bringing industry knowledge into the classroom and teaching you the skill sets that you needed to ensure that you can continue the path after college. Shh. <laughs>